Right, just okay, look, look, sorry, chaps, right, this, this is how it works. This is uh, a very big police space yeah. that deals with a lot of stuff, all right? So there's gonna be securities, security issues in and around it. If we see a couple of people filming, yeah. it makes us suspicious. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're here at the Metropolitan Police Specialist Training Center in Gravesend. And today, we are joined by another YouTube channel that you may all have heard about. What's up, guys? Reggie's here again. Yes! <laughs> Reggie Photo, his link will be in the description. You'll be hearing Reggie's voice throughout the day. So, Let's go and have a look at this place then, because I believe this is where they do the training. And AB did visit this place a few months ago, and he did see some training going on, but obviously he does not have a drone, does he? So, what will we find today? Let's find out. So yeah, to the right, there is a cycle path going down there. You know, you've got access for authorised vehicles only, environment agency, but you've clearly got a cycle route, so we could easily take a, a look down there if you wish. And just here we have a gatehouse. In there, we have a sign that says Metropolitan Police Specialist Training Center. Ooh, specialist. Somebody just walking by there, look. But great barrier, access control. You can't just wander in. You have to report to the security who, so far, are leaving us alone. So over in the distance, we can see some sort of training tower. Get nice and high up there, look, with some fake windows. And a fake balcony at the top with some clips. Where you can practice abseiling or something, maybe. Yeah. So that's the first piece of training building. Oh, and we're right next to the railway as well what train lines there can't quite tell yeah lovely setting right next to a canal or river wherever it is <laughs> lovely lane nice and quiet for them i bet it's not quiet when they start their training though but are we going to see any training today yeah, so what about the story then, mate? Uh, there's an investigation going on, isn't there? Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, were they drunk or something? And throwing petrol bombs, as it's alleged. Yeah, of course, uh, the investigation's still ongoing. But, yeah, yeah imagine that for a drunken party. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what was, where did they get access to alcohol in a place like this? Or did they arrive? Hey, we're talking about the, um, the uh, well, you know. Well, I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> Have they got some sort of social club on site for them to... Uh, get intoxicated, I don't know. But I'll pop that article on the screen now that Reggie mentioned. It clearly says that they were, well, going crazy. And then we come down to another gate here, which is barbed wired up, loads more vehicles ready to respond, police, police support. Police noise wagon there. We've also got the police horses vehicle. Yeah. Yep. Coming in, aren't they? They're all dressed for the occasion, aren't they? So I think they're either just finishing some training. She just mentioned a drone, you know. <laughs> I noticed camera up there, look at camera. Yeah, they're keeping their eye on us quite rightly so. Yeah, of course. I wonder what all these spare tyres, spare wheels are for. It's just crazy how many vehicles we've got stood at one time. Yeah. Should we have a wonder around the side? There is a sign down here, but it's not, uh, no parking in this area. Please keep the road and pathway unobstructed. Yeah, just uh, applies to vehicles. 
which maybe it meant this area here where they are actually parked. Hello. Hi then. Just having a walk. Sorry? Don't be starting with that strange stuff, lady. <laughs> it's a strange herder you've got there. <laughs> Plenty of, plenty of recycling going on. Yeah, you've got some manure there. You can't be wasting that. Allotments all love that. Even the state of these houses to the left here, look, they're built with the same bricks as the dummy training ground. I wonder who owns them, like. Yeah. We've even got an empty porter cabin here to the left. Wow. That's been abandoned. They have just been training, he's cleaning up all the glass. Wow. So we've missed it. We've got a pole all there. Look at dry cleaning shop and everything down there. Can you zoom in and get that? Oh wow, yeah. We've even got a fake dry cleaning shop. Lots of fake houses with just breeze blocks on the outside but interestingly enough this same material is behind us so they built these at the same time and these are occupied wow yeah strange isn't it it'd be nice to, it'd be nice to know got a roof on wouldn't it well we'll find out that very shortly but it's even got a street name peel road look at the fake doors <laughs> But yeah, they're clearly um, cleaning up the road there. Lots of glass scattered around, so we have just missed all the action. Ah. But you can see all the screening to the left there, look. So they're trying to block uh, nosy parkers watching. Too nosy, you DJ. Nosy well. if you're on good. We like to know what's going on, don't we? Make sure they're keeping up to scratch with their training. And then this way we have some stables. If I can find a suitable spot for the camera to zoom in. You can't really see much. There's some cleaning out. Uh, Apparatus or apparatus, as Natalie would say. And an area for them to exercise just at the front there. Some of the lads that have been training are just walking by right now. It's hardly in army gear, isn't it? They are in army gear, yeah. They're in good spirits anyway, they're happy. They must have had a successful training session. They must have had a certificate today, that one, in the red cap. Very happy. But you don't often see Metropolitan Police officers wearing that uniform, do you? No. I think he has actually got a gun, a holster as well. Are you a police officer? Yes. Uh, have you done training today? Yeah, it's just training. Has it been all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could I ask why they're dressed in the different uniform that we don't normally see? I'm not too sure. That's not, that's not us, I don't think. Oh, is it not police? No, I think that's the army. I'm not too sure. All oh, right. I can tell you. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> we don't train with them, so we're all different sites. Okay. So I'm not too sure where they've come from or who they are. Yeah. It's not a Met issued uniform at all, is it? No. You'd never no, have to not. wear that. No, it's not. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're just interested. We're like geeks, really. <laughs> Okay then, thank you very much. No take care. So the army train here as well then, do they? Hello. Oh, is that you parked there? Yeah. Can people still get by? How are you going? All you right. right guys? Oh, Can they still get by, yeah? Yeah, yeah, they're all right. What, what are you doing down here? Pardon? What are you doing down here? Oh, just chilling. Okay. What are you doing? Just saw you filming, that's all. We're just curious as to why. Yeah. Yeah, we're just, just having a look around, that's all. Okay. Oh, yeah. they can get by, that's all right. Right, OK, look, look, sorry, chaps, right, this, this is how it works. This is uh, a very big police space yeah. that deals with a lot of stuff, all right? So there's going to be securities, security issues in and around it. If we see a couple of people filming, yeah. it makes us suspicious. Now, you might be completely... Stop there one second. No, 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 is because it makes us a bit suspicious, suspicious that someone's filming. Not a crime. I'm not saying it is, but it makes us a bit suspicious that someone's filming this area because it's so prominent as a police site. Okay, which is why we're talking to you. So I'm Sorry Martin. To you. This is Alex. Not interrupting. I'm Martin. This is Alex. We're from the Mounted Branch, and this is why we're talking to you. Okay. okay. So if you could just give us an explanation no, no, about why you're doing what you're doing. Would you like to tell doing. us something? Can you just answer my colleague's no, question? No, it won't go any further you, until you, you tell us something. You need to tell us something. To say. We really need you to answer. No, we answer don't answer you. questions on a public path. Mm. Okay. If you tell us something first, we might have a, an amicable conversation with you. Go have on you then. got something to tell us? Yeah. Have, you have any... I got something to tell you? Yeah. No, well, my colleague. You're on about us recording. You're on about us recording, and you've got to tell us at the the first available opportunity Thanks recording us. So starting a recording, NSPC body worn. Starting a recording this, start of any recording this Oh, right, okay. So that's why we interrupted you, it that, wasn't being my, ignorant. My, my colleague, yeah, my yeah, colleague okay, is yeah. just letting you know about the uh, yeah, policy. Yeah, oh, right, that's right. okay. So, cool. are you, you know, able to take you know that about seriously, this? just before we, we continue with the conversation? Yeah. Is there anything yeah, you want yeah, to say yeah. to my colleague on that matter? Yeah, okay, yeah. What, that you're being body worn video, did we call it? Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you read where Thank it you. says yeah. you, Thank you. you need to? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's you're, all you're he was trying to say, that's all. Right from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, that's 100%. okay. We're not 100%. running away or anything. No, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. All right, so we'll go over that matter, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so we're just literally having a look around. If we find something, let go of this, please. Yeah, okay. And yeah. if we find anything interesting on our day out today, mm. like the, the horses and the training ground that you've got here, yeah. we're making a video. That's all oh, about okay. it. That's all. Is that for anyone in particular? Just for us. Just for us. For and, 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 and who are you guys? When you say us, like what? what yeah, when you say us, as in. Just, just video makers, members yeah. of the public, whatever you want to call us today. We've got no title. Who, sees your, who watches the video? Well, that depends who we show it to. Oh, that's yeah. what I mean. Like, do they, do they get posted online or oh, okay. how, how does it work? Well, it depends. If I find something of, of, of a house fire or something, I might sell it to a newspaper. If I find um, a police station with some training going on, I might show it to my... So, OK, it so, depends okay what... thank you. So the fact that you've got that and you are got that in such a sort of like show-me state means you've been stopped before. Do you... Do you... Do you film from You guys film science? us... But we're not allowed to film things that we want. No, yeah. no, That's no, 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 no. So, no, I'm not, not saying allowed you're not allowed. To. What, what I'm saying is... Many people tell us we're not allowed. Well, okay, yeah. This man's oh, attitude, yeah. well, like, we have to listen to him. We could... That also, well, no, he's got information there. We can actually walk away from you. Yeah, no, like, actually, If we're not being could. detained... You're not being detained, no. Well, we, we can just walk away now. But we want... You could do, but then that's going to make us be even more suspicious. It doesn't matter. Well, then you're going to follow us back up the road. Well, we're not after that. You need to have a better approach next time. I don't think so. I think so. I don't think we'd have to agree to disagree. I think that... He was very polite. What I'm saying is, we must understand. We, we, we don't have to understand anything. We're just if we're doing a, a lawful activity. For the conversation to go anywhere, we've got to understand each other, haven't we? So let's well, let's, let's forget about that bit now. The, you, you've got to understand in this day and age, with everything that happens, if we see people filming prominent buildings and stuff like that, we're going to be suspicious. That's a, that's a normal thing to think, isn't it? Okay. But in our eyes, why yeah, would okay. you, why would you walk by something so interesting and not? Get no, some footage. I totally get that. Yeah, okay, totally well, we've got two that. points and of view, and that's what we're talking about, and that's what we're trying yeah. to bottom out. Isn't yeah. understood, isn't All right? it? Yeah, okay. But prior but to that conversation, we don't know that, do we? Prior to stopping and chatting to you, we don't know anything about this situation, really. So until we learn more about the situation, a bit more about what you're doing and why you're here, then we can we kind of be a bit more like, okay, that's fine, or maybe it's not fine. But until we un ask some questions and have a chat, of, the guidance says that we don't have to account for what we're doing in a public space. So basically, 
if, if, if what you deem is suspicious just by having a camera and pointing it at your building from an outside perspective, we don't, de we don't deem that as like, because uh, we're not doing any anything like out of the order in, in regards to suspicious. We suspicious. We're just, what sort of stuff do you film like, normally? You can, but the guidance does actually say when you say in interesting about stuff, social I mean, media well, bloggers yeah, and stuff. Just, just, just talk do you know, because I don't want to interrupt them, do you know yeah. next door, yeah. right, it looks like there's a conveyor belt going all the way from this plant right, okay. to a boat. Okay. So that's my next subject because that's very unusual for me. Okay. All you right. can tell by my accident, I'm not from this area. I, I don't, okay, where are you from? So, no. well, somewhere. Do you know what I mean? So, we're also standing up for the rights of photographers. I've got a drone in my bag. My drone's going to go over very shortly as well. Right, okay. So we're standing up for the rights of photographers and drone flyers who are constantly being told, you can't do this, right? Mm. One of the things that we're also trying to highlight is the fact that police constables, mm. they film us without mm. telling us, right? Mm. You have a right to access that data because we're the data subject. Okay. And constable there is the data handler. Mm. But we are not aware that we're being filmed. So you have policies that you have to adhere to when, right. when recording, but members of the public don't. We can okay. film yes. anything okay. we want yeah. from a public okay. place. Yeah. So my, yeah, yeah. my colleague here, he's been doing it longer than me. Mm. So he's really sick and tired of them recording, as you guys recording us, but we can't record whatever we want. Okay. Right. Not that we can't, you've not said we can't, yeah. no, no, but no, you've no, insinuated that there might be something suspicious it, about well, it. We, we are, that's your job, you yeah, need to yeah, ask it, questions. It, it, exactly, exactly, and that's, that's, where, that's, that's where we are, and I don't really want it to go past that, because we've all got to share the same space, and we all want to live in a safe yeah. environment, yeah. and that's why we have the police, and that's why we have, you know, a, a, a lot of different things going on, but you, you, you you, you've got to respect that uh, we have to ask these questions. Well, we could be up to no good. Now you've ascertained that we're not, hopefully. Well, th th this is where this is where we work it. This is what we're working yeah. on. So I'd but like to see some ID. You no chance, because I'm standing up for the rights of the members of the public, and one of those <laughs> was a right to privacy. Okay. So if you suspect me of a criminal offence, please do tell me. Yeah, then we can move well, forward. This, this, this is all about building grounds and no. stuff, stuff no. like that. And you may want to build a relationship, but I just want to carry on a lawful activity of filming anything from a public place, right? right. So you, you guys do work with the animals, you mounted yeah. branch, yeah, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. Are you based here? No, no, no. Where we're, are you based? We're, 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 we're here for the day. We've come from central London. Where, which station are you based? Great Scotland Yard. Really? Yeah. Wow, OK. Yeah. And is it one of the Metropolitan Police policies that you should wear body-worn video at all times? I don't, I don't think it applies to it. You can't, you should wear it. I don't think they can say that because there's so many situations where you may not wear it. Well, there's many situations you know. where you won't turn it on. Uh, but maybe, the but, but should the policy? you have it with you on it all the time? We've been in a training environment today. We wouldn't have it on in a training environment yeah. like this. Have you got your body-worn video within reach? So if you wanted to clip it on, within like let's say a couple of minutes could you is no. it in your vehicle no right okay yeah. so really interacting with a member of the public wasn't on your agenda today was it no that's, that's besides the point before, no. before body worn came came about the world moved round. yeah know? but body worn's not the be all and end all but the, the policy it's is not, no it's not the be all and end all i can show you body worn body worn should be worn saying is, and i don't want to get drawn into an argument about this body worn isn't the be all and end all it's a great okay. tool for you. It right? is a great tool, of course it is, but there's loads of great tools. Yeah, no, and the police did a good job before these um, tools yeah. were invented, before body worn, didn't they? Yeah. You know? Do you know if your body worn actually allows facial recognition from the footage? Oh, do you know what? I, I, I really wouldn't know. Do you know when you get processed through custody now, they take the, the photo of you, mm. that gets stored on the database and then it can be used by some app that you guys have got access to for facial recognition. If he doesn't want to give his name, you take a photo of him and you can verify his ID. Mm, so what, what I'm asking now, quite often when I speak to constables like yeah. yourself, is the footage that is captured of us, yeah. most of the time without informing us, can that actually be used in your facial recognition database to well, identify I, us I, I at wanna, a later date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to sell you up the garden path. I don't know. Is the honest. Because that building that you're from, I would have thought if anyone would know it would be well, them no, guys. No, no. There's New Scotland Yard and there's Great Scotland Yard. Which one are you from? Great Scotland Yard is the stables, which oh, is not much technology okay. happens in there. Mate. Right. Okay. And Sorry about that. New Scotland Yard is where all the serious stuff happens. Yeah, they'd know, wouldn't they? We're, yeah, they, yeah. They would know there. Yeah. Thank All right, you know so yeah. you're 2223 based at Scotland Yard Stables. Great Scotland Yard. Great Scotland Yard. Great Scotland Yard. Okay. Scotland Yard. I've never been there.
Okay. Is, it, is there a, a drone restriction, a flight restriction, do you know, there? I would think so, yeah. yeah. There's not here, you know. Because it's round the corner from Parliament, so I would, I would think that, yeah. It, yeah. I, I, I tend to go just where the drone is allowed. Are you familiar with drone laws? No, drone no. Codes? I mean, you can't. I don't know. What do you do? You, no, I, I wouldn't know every aspect of the law, as I'm sure. Yeah. I don't know what you do for a living, but you may not know every aspect of what do you or you do. You have a working yeah, day-to-day yeah. knowledge of, st- of the stuff you normally do. Yeah. You know. I just wanted to make sure that you didn't object to the drone going up in a minute. I th- I, do you know what, mate? I think they might, and I think that's. I, if if you from talking to you, you sound like a nice bloke, and you're here for a genuine reason, and it's not suspicious, okay? But when you do this sort of stuff so close to a building like this, then people are going to ask questions. So yeah. for this to go forward, mate, I'm going to need to know who you are. You're not. <laughs> yeah, but I, if, I'm if, refusing if, to to identify myself right, because the, okay, the ground well, yeah, the ground. Okay, yeah, you've not got enough grounds to suspect well, that, a criminal that, offence. That, that's for me to decide, mate. Well, it, yeah, it's for the court to decide. No, no, it? no, it's, it's for me to decide here and now. I'm not going to get involved in an argument with you about it. Okay. If I think what you're doing is suspicious in any way, then I can use my police powers. Okay? What do you suspect me of? At the minute, I'm trying to keep this nice and low-key and trying to work out what exactly you're doing. Oh, you just want an argument with me, you know, or is this going to go somewhere and uh, it's going to uh, move on? Uh, well, what, tell me what you're suspecting. Are you suspecting terrorism or...? Possible what? hostile reconnaissance. Right, OK. Know, I've got documentation know, yeah. for that okay, as well, well then. Okay. So, when, when they start to mention Section 43, Terrorism yeah, Act, etc., yeah. etc., we refer to this NPCC social media bloggers' initial guidance. Oh, what's going on? So, yeah, go on. Yeah, go on, mate, yeah. No, carry on if you want to... No, no, go on, go on, go on. So, yeah, NPCC official document there. Yeah. Are we going to work out who these chaps are? No? If... Do you want to tell us who you are? I have lies to, sir. No, but if we start, yeah, I'm not too far about that, mate. Well, like, if, yeah, the thank guidance. you. Sorry, that was rude. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank it you. clearly says what, 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 what we think, mate. Yeah, I'm not worried about what that says. You should be. No, I'm not. It's going to help you. If, if, if we think that um, you're up to no good, then we'll detain you under Section 43 of the Terrorism Act. Crack on, sir. And then, That's and then, the end and then, of our then, conversation. And then we'll, and then we'll work you. out what's that going is on. Like, okay, that, you go that way and let is, me talk to you. Is, okay. Don't let him walk behind me, please, Al. Yeah. Don't get. Okay. I just need to make sure I'm out. Yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. You're, not, you're not detaining me or anything. I'm not detaining you, no, no. I'm just worried about you tripping over. If you want to read it, it's got lots in here about... Can we get the others over with the radio? Well, fine. I'm just talking to my colleague, but thank you. Wait. Uh, Section 43 of the Terrorism Act should be used as a last resort, only when reasonable suspicion exists. You should consider other possible remedies, such as the Antisocial Behaviour Act 2014, okay. if, if applicable. Thank you. Thank you for familiarising me with that, but I'll do what I think's right. And I'm so, not do you about suspect us of being a terrorist? Whoa. I, well, that, that, that's, what, well, that's what I'm working out. There that's are no powers prohibiting the taking of photographs, film or digital images in a public place. Therefore, members of the public okay. and press should be not prevented from doing so. The images, uh, we need their cooperation with the media and the amateur photographers like ourselves. They play a vital role as their images help us identify criminals. We must acknowledge that citizen journalism is a feature of modern life and police officers are now photographed and filmed more than ever. Unnecessarily restricting photography, whether for the casual tourist or professional, is unacceptable and it undermines public confidence in the police service. Once an image has been recorded, the police have no power to delete or confiscate without a court order. There's so much guidance being issued by the NPCC, which is in our favour. Mm. We're citizen, citizen journalists. We're out creating content. If anything we find interesting, I've already mentioned to you yeah, next, yeah, next yeah, door yeah, also with that. the conveyor belts. Right, so, I'll, my I'll friend, we've told you far more than we need to, the, 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 and the, you're the, still going the, down the, Section 43. The, the fact that you're carrying that round with you yeah. tells me that you get stopped quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. we're trying yeah. to stop yeah, it, mate. It doesn't I, I, have to be that way, though. 100%. Okay, we don't trust. We don't go, trust. We don't not, trust. Not going to let this go constables. on. Okay. Al, what are you saying, mate? I think we're fine. Okay. All right. Thanks for your time. Right. Jog right. on then, please. <laughs> don't tell no, you've upset me. <laughs> I don't care. You, you can understand. I'm not, I'm not here to upset, upset you. Yeah, but can you understand yeah. why you might yeah. be? Yeah. Because you've gone too far, you, mate. I don't you think you I have. Right. You, you haven't been detained. We, We're we a could have said from no the start. One's, no one's sworn. No we, one's. We could have said from the start nothing to do with you. If you're that easily upset, but we didn't. And despite us going out of our way to tell you more, he's still going on about Section 43. It's not acceptable. You'd be rogue today. You would go. Not after we've been so reasonable with you. Okay. Okay. You would. 
Honestly. Right. I don't understand your reaction if, if we'd used that power, but you haven't. You were very we're close then. He was saying, do you want to get the others out of the van? We're just talking about yeah, it. Yeah, you stopped, you're stopped him, yeah. You we saved us. We have a thing called discretion, so that is an option, but we're just having a conversation about you it. You actually so saved no us be, from being there's searched. There's no, be no need to be upset Honestly, or offended. Honestly, okay? Well, you I am. We've I am. explained ourselves really politely and really thoroughly. Very, very I'm sorry. I've got to thank you, miss. You saved him from searching and handcuffing me, perhaps. We need to get our horses back. Please he get him gone, please. This guy is not bloody trustworthy. Around. You must yeah, understand his frustration we're there. We're not getting anyone gone. We just got you were so close. You, no, you said get the, get the others out of the van. You don't, you don't know why I said that, and I did say that for certain reasons and different things like that. But it doesn't matter, OK? The whole point about this was to, to keep it calm and try and find some middle ground. We I was trying my best to reassure you. Know. Filming. I was trying so my best. Come yeah. over. Likewise, and we're all human. Do we agree on that? Or do you want to argue about that? Well, we are all human, so let's take that as a we are all human now, we agree on that. How do you know Thanks what I your identify time. as? Thanks for your time, all right? Thank you. Thank see you later. You. And okay. I suspect we'll see you I'll again. see you around. You are. Okay, you I will suspect that we'll around. take care. <laughs> take care. Two, 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 three, we're going to go later. to the terrorism act there. <laughs> I love your shoes, sir. So, that was the first time I've actually used those documents out the bag. I've always had them ready, but uh, never got a chance to read them out. How close was he, eh, to using section 43? He even asked his colleague to get the others. And he, 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 that lady actually stopped him yep. from abusing laws, didn't she? Yeah, she certainly did. Glad I could talk with her. You know, but wow, he was really gonna go down the wrong path. Very close. My initial concern was they're blocking the road. It looked to me like there was uh, causing an obstruction to the highway there, but they felt it necessary. They felt that we were some sort of threat, so they needed to stop and talk to us. But despite me going out my way, quite a bit there, telling them far too much, like I do, people tell me off in the comments for telling them too much. They're not entitled to know anything at all. You could just say- you, did you, Do you see the reason why I interrupted? because I heard the body cam go on and yeah. I was like, whoa, hold on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm thinking, he's, he came over with the passive aggressive attitude, like you need to understand it. And it's like, whoa, yeah. we don't need to understand anything. But that's his, the normal way he speaks to members of the public and he obviously gets away with it. And he obviously gets names, he gets people probably to stop filming and delete footage. Probably, I don't know. Well, I'm glad you've had that information on you today, mate, because you probably saved us from getting turned over there. You never know, do you? Yeah. That's a, a cool um, a cool thing to have on you, mate. Yeah, well, well yeah. I printed it off months and months ago. I've been carrying it around, and finally it's come useful. So I think that might need to get used more, more often, you know? Yeah. I think reading it out and his uh, realisation that we actually know what we're talking about but anyway, they are now going to radio through. They're going to tell the other guys inside. We are not going to get any more hassle, I don't think. Well, well order about the drone anyway. So yes, on that matter, it's time to see what this place looks like from, from above. above. <laughs> <laughs> there are no flight restrictions in this area. So let's have a look to see what this place looks like from above. So we've got Reggie photo. And just down there, <laughs> doing his thing. And the mounted branch vehicle waiting down there. They're still not leaving sight, are they? Are they still considering doing something? So we're up at 50 meters now. And there it is, look. The training ground, the fake houses. One breeze block thick wall with cars parked just behind it you've got the road sweeper there cleaning up all the mess we just missed all the action i think wow half an hour earlier and i'm sure we would have seen some training going on it's a bit like a, an eastenders set isn't it <laughs> <laughs> They've even got a fake stadium down at the back. So we're all hollow houses then, aren't they? Yeah. No roofs. But have they got access 
to the windows. No, they haven't. You can't even pretend that you're in the window. It's like a brick wall, basically. Yeah. One skin thick. And some vehicles down there for them to train on as well. So, an announcement over the tannoy, someone causing an obstruction in the car park. We've got lots of constables getting back into the carriers there, finish their training, so they're off back to their stations, I presume. And then round the back here, I just noticed some very interesting vehicles. Look at that. Wow. You don't see them every day, do you? A bit of a flat... Crazy, mate! <laughs> a bit of a flat <laughs> roof rack. Crazy! <laughs> that a bad cherry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And then loads more activity up there, look. So there, are obviously... a bit earlier. We'd have been for a treat, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I think half an hour earlier we would have seen some action. Yeah. And they've also got a prisoner transport vehicle down there as well. And some more fake houses. Is that a Barclays Bank? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've even got a Barclays Bank down there, look. Never. I can go over a tiny bit, but not too far. Post office. <laughs> a train. Seven and a half tonner. Is there any holes in the wall or what? Hmm. I bet. And then they've even got access to a pier where it looks like the RNLI are doing something over there. Which is linked. Oh, that road goes round the back. Maybe around here. And then it leads back to the road that we're on, just over there. So let's see what shop fronts we can see then with the drone. So we've got Arnie's Pet Shop, Dry Cleaners, Randdale and Hopkirk, Opticians, Jewelers, a Stop Shop and Estate Agents. So they really are trying to make it as realistic as possible. Mini city, isn't it? Yeah. Post office, Mini Mart, National Bank, Pit Stop. So, if you ever wondered what sort of setting the police do their training in, then now we know. Lots of public order training going on here, and specialist training, firearms, and riots. You name it, they'll train for it here. But of course, we spoke about that article earlier on the Daily Star. Police officers got drunk and accidentally set car on fire with petrol bombs. An investigation has been launched following allegations of drunk officers throwing petrol bombs at each other while away at a riot training center here in Gravesend in Kent. Police officers allegedly started a blaze that needed 150 fire extinguishers to put out after getting drunk and throwing petrol bombs at each other. An investigation has been launched into an incident in which police pool car was destroyed. According to a source, five British officers and two Canadian cops went out drinking after a day of public order training and ended up dangerously tossing petrol bombs about. So, it's all alleged. I'm not saying it actually happened or it's true or they got found guilty or anything like that the daily star reported on it we was coming here anyway so we thought we'd mention it so that's about it with the drone footage i'm gonna get nice and high take a 360 degree shot for google maps and then we're gonna move on so that's about it from the metropolitan police specialist training center here in gravesend we had a good look round, anywhere publicly accessible, we've had a little wonder. 
You right, mate? You, you are, are you filming? Uh, yeah, filming. You, you know it's a police building? Yeah, I've just had a look at the training centre area with the drone. I flew over it. Yeah, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't be out here filming, mate. No, it's quite an interesting place. Have you got a details on you? you got any ID? Details of what? ID. You got any ID on you? What do you want that for? Well, basically, you're standing outside of... Please don't film me, sir. Mate, you approached us. Sorry? Are you a police constable? I'm a police constable. So what do you want an ID for? Well, I was asking you what you're doing outside there. I just told you. Do you know? Oh, yeah. uh, do you know the training oh, centre yeah. that you've got? Yeah. I took the drone over to get some good footage. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's, I've oh. told you that. All right. One second. I don't get what the problem is, mate. It's just that it's a police building. We're just, you know, I was asking why you're doing that. What you're doing? That We're right. just filming from a public it's place. Oh, you know that's all right. Places, right? Yeah. You know that's fine, don't you? And where, where, where's this going to be published? All this uh, filming. I'm not decided yet. Yeah, yeah, please, 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 Hey, not giving you all that. Why not? You need to, you've engaged with us, sir. No, 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 I don't You didn't engage with us. Come on, play the game, give no, us your number. No, you can't have my Why number. Why not? Yeah, but you wanted my ID, didn't you? No, I was asking you, have you got ID to say what, uh, yeah. in terms of, are you from a media for, outlet? So, the like fact that. that you've asked for that, yeah. just tell me who you are, please. No, no I'm not going to tell you who I am. You're refusing to identify? No, I'm not refusing. Go on then, identify. No, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. You must do, you know. No, it's a legal requirement. So if you are, so you are a PC. My, my, my number, come on. My shoulder number, yeah, 367. Sure. Perfect, no, thank no, you. That's all, all right. we needed. You happy with that? Just and so what, I know I'm talking what, to. What, um, where are you from? <laughs> Which base? Where are you based? Are you based here? Good man. All right. Have a good day, yeah, thank you. Have you. a good day, sir. Yeah. Take care. I like your wig. I like your smile. <laughs> 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 we like your training centre. So guys, we are going to leave it there from yeah. Gravesend Training Centre. They've been okay. They've a couple attempts to obtain details. They just want to make sure that we're no threat, that's all. But I've enjoyed it. We've had a good look round and now it's time to move on. So from Reggie to my right, he's going to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Hit the like, subscribe and do all the rest, guys. Ciao. <laughs> oh, Mr. Baldy there. Look, Baldy, Baldy. <laughs> yeah. And I'll chuck Reggie's uh, link in the description, as we mentioned earlier. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now. What's in there? Furniture? No. Go on. Vending machines. Vending machines. Got you. They've got to eat, ain't they? <laughs> got to allow them to eat something. <laughs> Take care, guys. I Go on. You know what you're going to get? Come on, my friend, let me get you something. How do I recognise that voice? Here's the key reader, here's the key reader. Yeah, I appreciate it, thank you. Yeah.